today we are going to do problem involving unchanged quantity. Start by reading the question carefully. So we will highlight the important information, the before ratio and the after ratio. And we know that the number of girls uh, did not change. The boys left. <coughs> So we'll highlight all those important points. Now we'll put that in. So before ratio before is to three. And then your after ratio will be eight is to nine. Now we know that the number of girls did not change. So we need the before ratio to also be 9 units to show that they are equal. So we will have to make adjustment to the before ratio. So we multiply by 3 and we'll get 12 is to 9. That will allow us to have an equal uh, number of units for the girls. And if we compare uh, 12 and 8, that would be 4 units. So, four un uh, the, the number of boys has been reduced by 4 units. So, we know that there are 81 girls. So, 9 units is 81. 1 unit is 9. So, the 4 units the, which represent the boys that left would be 4 times 9 equals 36. Question 2, same thing, we read the question carefully and we will highlight the important point, uh, the initial ratio and then we know that Susan spent $38 and then in the end he has $2 left than Mary. Now instead of uh, solving this using ratio, I find it easier if you work in terms of model, so I'll draw 4 units for uh, Susan and I will also uh, draw uh, 1 unit uh, for Mary, I'll label as well. So Mary has one unit. Now for Mary, I will also insert uh, the two dollars less <coughs> so that it's uh, clear. And I'll do the same for Susan as well. And we know that uh, Susan spent thirty-eight dollars. So, from the model, we can easily find your 3 unit, $38 minus $2 will be $36. Your 3 unit will be $36. So, 1 unit is 36 divided by 3, which is 12. And then if you want to find the amount of money Susan have at first, uh, you just need to multiply uh, the value of one unit, which is 12, by 4. So 12 times 4 equals 48. Now, all along, the ratio has been provided for us. The only difference for question 3 is uh, the ratio is not provided. Uh, instead, percentage value is provided. But our approach remains the same. Once we have uh, highlighted the correct information, we will find the before and after ratio. All we need to do is to convert the percentage into ratio. So, our before ratio, 45% for red and 55% for blue, how do I get 55? 100% minus 45% will give you 55%. Uh, I will simplify this and I will get 9 is to 11. So I'll 
I'll circle nine because I know that that is the quantity that won't uh, that will not change. So for after, same thing, red and blue. Uh, notice that I use a small uh, lowercase blue uh, to avoid confusion between before and after. So 25% for red and 75% for blue. And if we simplify this, uh, you get 1 is to 3. So we know that the quantity for red marble remains unchanged, so I have to make it into 9 as well. So I multiply by 9, so I get 9 to 27. That's the new ratio for after. Okay, with adjustments. So now I can also compare the blue uh, marbles in terms of unit. Initially, there's 11 units, and then in the end, there's 27 units. The difference is 16 units. So this 16 unit must be the 48 blue marbles that were added. So one unit will be three. So you want to know the number of red marbles in the bottle. So three times nine equals uh, 27. Now for question 4, same thing, the only difference is uh, there's an additional quantity. For question 1, 2 and 3, we are dealing with two quantity. For question 4, we have an additional quantity, a third quantity. Uh, so we will highlight the important point first so that uh, we know and we understand the problem before we uh, try so, uh, start solving it. So we'll <coughs> write what's very uh, straightforward, what's clear to us. So the ratio between Keith and uh, Leon, we can uh, ascertain that first. So it if Keith has eighty percent of uh, Leon's uh, savings, so Leon will be hundred percent. That will be our base, hundred percent, and then Keith will have eighty percent. So we'll simplify that, and we'll get uh, four is to five. Next, we'll have to work out uh, John's uh, saving and uh, key saving in terms of their relationship. So, John has John's share uh, is twenty percent. So, I'll convert that into a fraction. You get one is to five, and then for Keith, his is thirty percent. Okay, 30% of his savings and 20% of John's savings are equal. So, same thing for 30%, I'll convert that into a fraction. And then you notice that uh, the numerator for John is one unit and then for Keith is three units. Uh, the fact that they have to, uh, they are equal, I'll just uh, change uh, John's uh, share to be three is to 15 so that the numerator is three as well. Now by doing this and then looking at the denominator, now I know that uh, John has 15 units and Keith have 10 units for uh, this relationship to be true. So I can use that to write a new uh, ratio. 15 is to 10. And I can simplify that and I'll get 3 is to 2. 
but notice in the earlier uh, ratio, Keith has four units, and then now for the second ratio, Keith has two units. I'll just have to make adjustment. I double it. I'll get uh, the ratio becomes six is to four. So now I can put John into the initial ratio, and we can know uh, uh, how the how the how. Uh, what's the ratio when uh, the three of them are placed alongside each other? So Keith has uh, four units, Leon will have uh, five units, and then uh, John will have six units. <clears throat> so I know that. Uh, from the uh, question uh, that, you know, if Keith uh, has an additional $345, then he will have the same money as Leon. That means one unit is uh, $345. So if I need to work out how much John has, I just need to multiply $345 times 6. And that will give me $2,070.